Uh, we have one more question. <clears throat> Does the house monster system teach you how to negotiate? You're obviously a master negotiator. You've been doing this for 40 years, Lou. Uh, I've I've just started. I've just, just found out this thing called a house, and I've discovered that I can have more than one, and someone else can live <laughs> in it and pay me. So, But I don't know anything about how I make that happen, but I know that I'm going to have to negotiate. And usually that's well, what the realtor does for me, right? Well, the realtor doesn't really negotiate. The realtor kind of matches a buyer and a seller together and you kind of tell the realtor what you want to do. And the realtor takes it back to the seller, uh, sometimes through another agent, uh, before the offer is actually made. So you don't actually get the face to face opportunity to discuss with the seller, what their situation is and how you can solve their problem. It's just, a, it's just a, a exchange of numbers, so to speak. So I love face to face. I love when we can look at someone's situation and show them how we can solve their problem. I actually created a whole system on just negotiations. So uh, sometimes negotiations are done in multiple ways. One is to discuss it with the people to discover what their situation is and show them how you can solve the problem. But another is your paperwork because when you've got good paperwork, your paperwork can do a lot of the negotiating for you. So that's another aspect of what we do and how we do it, both on the buying side, on the holding side, on the selling side, when you've got paperwork that incorporates some of the negotiation points, you don't have to negotiate each one of those fine points. It's in the paperwork. If that works for the people, you've got a deal. If it doesn't, you can strike through it and go with whatever's left.